We're going to take you through putting a Jake's Power Kit on a Yamaha. This is part number 6256. We have the body off of this car, so it's easier for you to see, but you do not have to take the body off to do it. We're going to use a 17 millimeter wrench to remove the nut that's holding the outer sheave. Some of the outer halves are seized on the shaft, so you need to use a clutch puller and using a 15 16 ratchet and the 10 millimeter screws go into the outer sheave you're going to take and it'll drive the outer sheave off the shaft and remove the outer sheave you're going to save all this for reinstallation all right using a pair of needle nose or side cutters you want to get a hold of the half moon key to release the inner sheave the next step is removing the spring in the spring seat. Now in this car it slid right off. Some cars it's, it's seized on the shaft where you might need a pry bar to get it started. And you need to remove the snap ring from the shaft. The snap ring will not be reused. The spring will not be reused, but the spring seat will. The next step is taking the spline collar with the splines out towards the driver's side tire. Put it on the shaft, put your spring seat up against the spline collar, and take your new spring and set it in the spring seat. Now before we set the sheave on, you want to make sure that the groove for the half moon key is facing up so you'll be able to get your half moon key back on. Now you want to take the new machined inner half and slide it into place. Make sure the teeth on the inner half are lined up to the open area of the spring seat. Using a C-clamp, you want to compress the inner sheave to where you can fully see the half moon slot to put your half moon key in the shaft. Put the stock half moon key back in the slot in the shaft. This holds the sheave in place. Using a 17 millimeter socket, the stock nut and washer, securely tighten the outer sheave to the shaft. Now make sure again that your teeth are lined up properly to go in the slot as shown. As you can see, there's a grease fitting on the inner half and you do want to grease this. One shot of grease and this should be part of your regular maintenance. 